Right, hello everybody, it's Stuart Watson and Michael Bacon here at Portman Road where we've just seen a thoroughly entertaining 2-2 draw with MK Dons. Ipswich Town twice led, really good goals. Ipswich Town twice, twice conceded, really poor goals and they probably should have lost it with virtually the last kick of the game as well. So, what's your assessment of that one? <laughs> Well, it's a good assessment, Stu, I think. Um, you know, could have lost it, could have won it. It's, it, it. It was a good game of football, was it? you know, for the neutral. Um, but uh, obviously, town fans are not the neutral. And, uh, you know, when you go twice ahead at home, you know, and the, and the goals we conceded, the town conceded, were, were so poor. Um, and, yeah, as you say, could have actually lost it. It's, it's, a, it's a really weird one to sort of try and get your head around, really, isn't it? Because you've, when Bond got his second goal, his first was a classic, by the way, Stu, sort of thing I'd have netted in my, in my days. No, his first was a classic. His second, when, he, when Town went 2-1 up, you really thought, this is it. And for them to give away another similar type, more esque goal, you know, Lee Evans this time getting caught in possession, oh, just, mm -hmm. just infuriating. Yeah, recurring themes at the start of this season as the search for a win goes on. Ipswich Town are far, far more entertaining to watch than they have been for a long time, certainly the last few years. Um, I can get used to watching Carl Edwards weaving his magic on, on the wing for Ipswich, the, the fullbacks bombing on, loads more shots on goal, chances, corners, night and day compared to those drab nil nil draws of last season. But there is still a little bit of a soft underbelly. They're hurting themselves with poor goals conceded. Today's well, actually, should we start with the positives of the really good goal score before we dissect the ones against? You talked about that first goal. That is as good a goal as I've seen scored by Ipswich Town for a long, long time. And Macaulay Bond, I mean, talk about rectifying. Miss, he's gone from miss of the season contender four days ago at Cheltenham to scoring a goal of the season contender here at Portman Road today. It starts with Kane Vincent Young intercepting a, a throw in in the right back area, then a, a gloriously weighted long ball over the top. Macaulay Bond's first touch is exquisite and then the finish, he just hammers it into the top corner at the near post. Um, and you're thinking, okay, we're on, we're on our way. And, um, and the second goal was just as good as well, wasn't it? I mean, to, good, 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 good move, setting, setting a penny into Fraser. Fraser whipped a gorgeous. I thought Fraser did quite well at number 10. I think that suits him a little bit. First see him sort of in the middle of the park and out on the left. Lovely curling cross in, as you say, Stu, and Bonds at the far post slides in like all good strikers. I just spoke to Macaulay Bond actually, um, quite interestingly, he said, obviously, because the Cheltenham miss obviously came up in conversation as it was going to. I had a little prayer, he said today. I don't I'm not I'm, don't, I don't often pray, but I actually did before I went out today. But he also said he was cute, he, he, he was hugely confident that he was gonna be fine and, and batter away um, that miss. And yes, Stu, you're right. I mean that touch, that first goal, that touch, that finish. Well, I mean, if you saw, saw a match of the day tonight, they'd be like eulogising it. It'd be, it'd be like have to watch it for like 14 times mm -hmm. now and share a time how you he used to score and more like that. And what, what the, you know, the bloke's the greatest striker on the planet. So mm -hmm. fair play, Macaulay Bond, Stu, actually. Yep. Tough week, but he's finished it on a high. Yeah, he didn't deserve to be on a, no. on a team that, that drew today. He deserved to be a winner coming away from this. He wasn't because the goals conceded were poor. And we come on to those now, which led at half time. They had a chance to go 2-0 up. Wes Burns has seen a shot turned onto the post. Couldn't kill it off. And then the first equaliser is, is Luke Wolfenden. Gives a foul away in a, in a dangerous position. Um, Twine curls it. It's great placement right inside the post, but didn't have loads of pace on it. Perhaps slight question marks over Hladke, who hasn't, um, hasn't had the, the greatest of starts to life at Ipswich Town. Maybe being a little bit harsh there, but that's 1-1. Then comes that really good second goal that, that Mike's described. Um, and the lead didn't last very long, did it? Three, four no. minutes. And um, Lee Evans, Lee Evans, the one the man at fault today. It's been individual errors that are costing Ipswich Town in games. And today he just was, uh, how would you describe that? Back to goal, just unaware of the danger around him. And, the, and he's robbed of possession. Just, just caught out, just caught out in possession. I mean, just, you know, you're two and up. Some, I mean, you don't want to hoof the ball every two minutes. We've had enough hoof ball in this football club. for a few, So it's nice to play from the back. But sometimes if you're going to play from the back, you've got to really be on it. Your, might, your concentration's got to be 100%. You've got to know, you've got to be, if, if a keeper plays the ball to you on your 25 yards out, with your, you know, and you're facing the kick, you, you don't just turn into people. You've got to be 100% what's going on around you. A bit like Wolf did on the opening day with Morecambe. That was a spitting image again, almost. Someone cuts the ball out. Um, well, it was a Riley, wasn't it? And it just, it just trickles towards the goal, you're dribbling towards it, and you just know what's going to happen. He side foots underneath the keeper, nothing the keeper could do. And that's a gift, isn't it? 
It's a gift Ipswich Town are not getting at the moment. They're not getting those type of gifts, um, but they're gifting goals away and frustration all round. Frustration all round. Good. Easy on the eye, good going forwards. Got to stop some of these soft goals going in at the other end. If they can get that formula right, you still feel Ipswich could could click and go on, on a real roll. But um, the longer this wait for a win goes on, the more everyone gets that little bit more jittery. Paul Cook said he's had words with a supporter who was airing a bit of frustration as, the, as they left the field today. He's talking a lot about work in progress, needing time. The good thing now is they've got a clear week on the training pitch. After a couple of Tuesday night games, Cook can really get those fitness levels building, start getting that team chemistry and that team bond going. And uh, you hope that it happens next weekend. AFC Wimbledon, the visitors to Portman Road next Saturday. We'll see you then.